Hi, this is Jeff Heaton. I'm going to tell you what data science is in four minutes, or at least try. I better get going. First up, data. You can't have science without data. Maybe you have a little, maybe you have a lot, but you've got to have data. Often your data will be in tabular form like this. Think Microsoft Excel. You've got columns. You'd like to predict one of them. Maybe you would like to predict the acceleration of a car based on these other parameters. You know the acceleration for a lot of these cars, but maybe there's some cars where you don't know the acceleration. You can train a model to predict that acceleration based on what the ones that you already know. This is supervised learning. If you're trying to predict a number, it's regression. If you're trying to predict a class or a category or a type of car, it is classification. There's also unsupervised learning. Maybe you don't know the acceleration for any car. In this case, you take the values that you do have and try to cluster them. Your unsupervised learning is going to look like this. You're going to have clusters that those rows fall into. Maybe you'll have the colors or maybe you won't, depending on the algorithm that you're using. It's probably up to you to assign which of those clusters new items most closely align with. Another important point is deciding how many clusters there are ahead of time. Maybe you decide it, maybe the algorithm does. It just depends on the algorithm. Unsupervised and supervised learning are definitely the two biggest categories in data science. However, new categories are coming up all the time. This is not the only way that this can be done. Most of these algorithms, at least for supervised learning, are all about fitting a line to the actual data. The actual data on the top one is the black line, which is very noisy usually. The red line is the model that you're developing that as you train it gets closer and closer to the actual values, but you don't want it to be as jagged as the actual values, at least usually, or you will be in danger of overfitting. Overfitting is one of your arch enemies as a data scientist. You must prevent your models from overfitting. There's other arch enemies as well, but it is one of the big ones. Think of overfitting as like memorization. If you're given a sample exam and you study just that sample exam and over and over and over and eventually you get 100% on the sample exam, Will you pass the real exam? Probably not. There's underfitting too. Underfitting occurs when the model type that you've chosen, such as an RBF, a Gaussian process, decision tree, random forest, all these ones that you see across the very top of your screen, the columns are model types. The rows are types of data. You can see that the models themselves, the curved regions of those colors, they don't always fit the data just perfectly. That is called bias error. Your model simply cannot fit to the type of data that you have. The solution to this is to use an ensemble where you use several columns to represent your data together. But how do you get a better model of your data? Well, there's many ways to do that, but one of the most common is something called feature engineering. Feature engineering is where you create additional calculated columns in your data where maybe you take something like the acceleration and calculate that together with the size of the, the engine, maybe a ratio, to calculate an efficiency column that you add to this and pass it in with all your other data. There you go, data science in four minutes. Of course, there's a lot more to this field. You can learn about that by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.